So today I want to talk to you about uh, times you're going to have feelings of really like you've hit rock bottom. And that's the reality of the situation. Uh, on any journey that involves your success, you're going to have these days where you just feel like things are are not going well and really you're kind of a, a low point. And, and the, you kind of may have a sense that you're, really your life is falling apart. So, you, you know, for example, you may lose your job, you may lose your home, you may lose your partner. And it, and it really seems like you're really at a lowest point in your life. And this really sucks. And, and so it's important to understand that the reality of it is, is we all go through these emotions. And the good news is there's things you can do to really help get yourself back on track. So I want to talk to you about some of those things you can do. The first thing to do is really assess your situation. You know, rock bottom is going to look different to different people. But in all cases, it's really wise to ask yourself what happened and how did you get to this point? Were there external factors or were there personal mishaps? And you really need to be honest with yourself when you're evaluating your situation. Next thing is to really revisit your goals. How does reaching rock bottom affect your goals? Do you need to get back on the onto that horse or really uh, do you have a clear course for your goals? Or is it really time to create some new plans? Now you can create your own success when you assess your goals and really implement the strategies to attain them. So remember, uh, goals are very important, but the plan is extremely important. And then the implementation of the plan is the most important. So don't be afraid to change your plan a little bit. Another thing is really go easy on yourself. You know, don't, don't really wallow in self-pity. Uh, it's important to really kind of um, understand the emotions you're having. You may want to give into this feeling of self-pity, and that's normal. Uh, however, while just kind of wallowing in this pity or me, poor me feeling really doesn't help you, and, and it really can actually uh, keep you in this mess and keep you get further in the mess. So first, be compassionate with yourself but then don't let the feelings overtake you. So another tip is to really meet your physical needs. Sometimes when you hit rock bottom, you really let your physical needs go unmet. So now is the time to ensure that you eat, sleep, and care for your hygiene is, is extremely important. Now, as you care for these needs, you'll be better positioned really to handle these emotions uh, as they continue to come in because you're going to have other times in your life you're going to feel this way. Another tip is take responsibility. You may want to really blame others for where you are, but that may not be true. Now, you can get your life back on track when you're honest with yourself and take responsibility for the actions or inactions in this situation. So once you do this, you can take control of your life and make better decisions. And this is what I call trying to transition from kind of that, that victim mentality to the hero mentality, meaning that, that taking responsibility also gives you control and it empowers you to make a change in your life. Another thing you may want to do is talk with your friends. You know, spend time with your friends who care about you. They can help you overcome feelings of isolation and sadness, really when you're going to have these at your lowest point. You know, friends offer support for both good times and bad times, and they can help you feel connected to the world. Another thing you need to do is adjust your self-talk. Now, adjust your self-talk, you know, we often have these uh, negative kind of attitudes, and it's important really to understand that the, the voice in your head is really having a big impact on you. So, you know, you want to adjust your self-talk. You want to have positive affirmations. Now, when you repeatedly tell yourself that life sucks, your brain will find a way to support that statement. So also, it also works the other way. If you remind yourself that life is good, uh, your brain is also going to find ways to help prove that. So really understand and adjust your self-talk. Next thing is really just keep trying, you know, uh, kind of just cowering in the corner, licking your wounds, that's not going to really help you. You know, so it's really kind of uh, need to really pick yourself up and get back to life. You need to learn from the experiences you had, but you also need to keep moving forward. Then for some of you, you may just really need to seek professional help. You know, there does come a point when all these steps you take to just really stop working. And that's when you need to seek help from a professional. They can help you develop strategies to really get you back on your feet. So what are some fast action steps? Well, first, take some time by yourself and look at what's happening in your life. Are there areas you need to address to get back to where you want to be? And what action steps do you need to take? Now, if you're not caring for yourself physically, you know, you need to make this an immediate focus. You know, take that shower, 
eat that warm meal and really just get some good sleep. Finally, another thing is, is, is like I said, for some, you may want to schedule an appointment with a counselor or a therapist. Look to them to help, you know, really address your feelings and develop kind of the strategies you need to get back on life and get back on track. So again, you know, we're going to have high times in our life. We're going to have low times in our life. Uh, we want to celebrate the high points. We also need tools to navigate those low points because the reality is no matter how successful you are, we all go through these periods of time where we really feel defeated. And these are just some, hopefully some tips can help you get you back your, on your feet and really continue your journey on your own health and wellness. So again, if there's anything we can do for you, just let us know. Thanks.